a nispo here so wanted to show this case this is the cooler master master box nr200 uh, the reason why um, i ended up grabbing this case was so that i can fit this gpu this is the asus rog strix uh, 3080 the case itself can support a triple slot GPU. So that GPU will fit um, somewhere down here. That's the idea. This is probably one of the only cases that I could find that can do this uh, very nicely. So uh, after looking at cases, decided that I wanted something that was portable that could fit the, the Strix, the 3080, uh, so that I could move this around and, and take it with me wherever I want. Um, along with this, I was able to grab a Asus ROG. Um, this is the Strix Z590i motherboard. So this will fit right in there pretty nicely. And then I was also able to get, and I'll show this a little bit later on, it's an EVGA 850GM, uh, an EVGA Supernova power supply. It's a small form factor, SFX, and it'll fit right here. Now, again, I've actually put a bunch of this stuff together. Um, I ended up taking it apart because I was using some of the parts for other things that I was playing around with and tinkering. But um, I figured I might as well put the case together again and then uh, install something on it and use it for, for some stuff that I work on. Um, the other piece of this was I wanted to see if one of these could fit inside of it. So this is a Noctua. Um, what I love about this is, is the kind of the, the, uh, the heat pipes. Um, when I was trying to figure out what could fit, um, this had all the dimensions to be able to kind of go into this corner over here and still uh, have the case so it can close. Um, so this is the largest that I could fit in there. Uh, it, this, this case obviously can't fit the, the um, uh, NHD15, uh, so the NHU12A will fit in there. When I was looking at the various uh, performance ratings, Noctua has a standardized performance rating. Uh, they call it NSPR. And uh, the two largest uh, coolers that they have, CPU coolers, is a D15, which has an NSPR of 183. And then this one comes in next. Uh, this one comes in next at um, an NSPR of 169. So it was pretty nice to be able to fit something so, so big and massive into something like this, so small as this. Um, I like the simplicity and the reliability of the Noctua coolers, and I think the vapor chamber technology is very effective. So um, these, these heat pipes um, are very, very efficient. And from a lot of things that I've, uh, I've done and used these, um, these for, they've worked very well for me. Um, plus the, the, without having to have a lot of water and things like that, if you're using a portable rig, it kind of makes more sense. Um, so, uh, I think the other features about this, this case, let me just sort of maybe pop something open here. Um, so they have this bracket here and it's something that I don't think I plan on using much at all. Um, but we'll have to take a look and see. Um, this has right here some mounts, so that way you can put uh, a hard drive. So you have a lot of these kinds of rails as well. If you wanted to put optional types of hardware, you can kind of see that you would put it here and then kind of put it right here, and then um, this would this would end up. Uh, kind of holding those hard drive bays if you needed more hard drive and you wanted to extend. Um, so 
this is where the power supply would live. So this is just the mount. You put the power supply in there. And then you would connect it up using kind of this extension. This extension would go out to here on the side, um, or on the outside, in the back, and then it would connect to a nor normal power cable um, out the back. Let's see here. Uh, let me take more of this part. You kind of see that a lot of these side panels just come off uh, pretty pretty much like that. Um, they have these magnetic filters on there, air filters. Uh, this is to kind of collect the dust or uh, maybe some larger debris. I found that these things eventually just kind of collect a bunch of dust and start to impede a lot of airflow. So my preference is to take these things and remove them. Um, depends, I guess, in your environment. If you have a lot of dust or, or you don't. Um, I'm usually always vacuuming and I don't have a lot of dust. So I will usually take this and get rid of it and then just use the the, uh, the side of the case alone. Um, keep the, the holes kind of from, from being impeded uh, of airflow. Um, let's see here. I think the top piece here also comes off. Let me see if I can get this off. It's a little bit of effort, but you can kind of see that. Um, yeah, so this top piece comes off, and then uh, you can put fans right there to kind of draw the air in or push air out. I think I'm going to mess around with this a little bit and try to see if pulling the air in is more effective than, than pushing the air out. Um, I've had mixed results before. And it kind of depends on, on, on the case. Um, what I've noticed is that usually when you're generating a lot of heat and it starts to kind of pool up in the inside here, um, you, you actually need some, something to kind of push air, cold, cool air into the case. And then out through all the other areas, um, it'll kind of vent out the hot air. Uh, so I find it more effective to kind of push air in as opposed to trying to see if you can vent a bunch of hot air out and then suck in a bunch of cool air through the sides. Um, but we have to see. I, I have to take a look and see which one performs better here. But my sense is uh, usually pushing the air in kind of ends up being a bit effective. So um, let me see. So you can see kind of the front of the case here. It's not too, you know, not just not, nothing much there, just kind of flat. You have just the the logo there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, let's see here. See that? Just a little logo there. Um, like that it's black matte and, you know, not nothing, nothing fancy there. Um, let's see here. And you got, you got the various uh, ports that are up there, the top and the power button. Um, let's see if I put this back here, you kind of can probably visualize that a bit better. But yeah, I see that. So it looks like you've got a power button here, <clears throat> the reset button, it looks like right here, and then two USB ports and, and an audio, uh, so that way you can plug in your headset. The, um, <clears throat> the back is, let's see here, just like that. Um, <laughs> there is a bracket that you can mount your video card and then a riser cable. Uh, so you can mount your video card this way and then have it kind of bring air in. Um, but I opted not to go that route and decided that I wanted to connect the GPU directly to the motherboard. So uh, most likely the GPU is gonna be down here at the bottom. Let's see here. So this is where um, you have the, the various slots. Um, obviously, the motherboard, um, all of the I.O. would be back there. Um, the bottom as well uh, can come off, I believe. So, let me see. Yeah, it, it, like everything on this case has been made so that way it can just just pop off, which is kind of neat. Um, there. Oh, yeah, I 
actually this looks like it would have popped off like this, kind of pull off this way. Um, and then you also have this this magnetic uh, filter as where well where I probably will remove that. I know the front panel comes off also, and you can even if if you have uh, problems getting into the case, you can unscrew these, and you can pretty much disassemble disassemble the whole case. Um, but I don't think we're going to need to do that. So, anyways, so that's the uh, the master box. And a little bit of a teardown get it prepared. Um, the other things that the, the box comes with, let's see here, it's just like a bunch of, let's see, it says here, accessories, right? Uh, it comes with one fan, and uh, what's nice is it comes with this type of a, a quick attach, where, let me, let me show you this. You can take this top here, and um, you just push push it, and it will kind of stick to the, or attach itself. Uh, you got these little rubber types of, uh, um, I guess, fasteners, or, or little rubber grommets, holes, where you can kind of attach the, the these little posts um, that kind of go in. And then this, you know, this, this kind of comes off as well. You kind of see, um, you just kind of push them through. And the, these posts are what will kind of go into the holes there. Um, there is also, so they give you a couple of these, so that way you can um, obviously put it on, on the two two uh, you know, the two places where the fans would actually hold and, and stay. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. So you got extra fans there, or a fan uh, attachment. Um, you have a smaller fan as well uh, if you want to get some more airflow into the case. So they provide you that. Uh, they provide you an adapter here uh, that you can use to, to power both fans. Um, looks like a couple of uh, Velcro holds. Uh, I think these are used for the power supply. Um, let's see here. Yeah, a lot of zip ties for, for cable management. And then uh, a, lot of, a lot of the various types of screws that you would use to, um, yeah, attach, attach the motherboard or even replacements uh, to be able to kind of do the quick attachments. So there's that. All right. So that's the uh, kind of the master box NR200. Um, Let's see, is there anything else to say about it? No, I think that's about it. Um, so I'm going to use this, go into my next build. Um, I'll probably review maybe each of the other parts as well separately, and then I decide to kind of post this out as I start to build it. Thanks. Peace out.